Um, you, you've decided to wait to, to write memoirs. Long time coming. And I think it's a great idea. But I do want to ask you one story that I was unaware of from your memoirs, which involves Mrs. Thatcher, uh, an OBE, and your decision on whether or not you wanted to be... Mm. to accept that OBE. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Because I haven't heard about this before. I had a letter from 10 Downing Street uh, from the office of Maggie Thatcher saying that uh, she was of a mind to recommend to Her Majesty that I should be, should be given an OBE um, and she would like to have confirmation of the fact that um, I would accept it. There's the letter, yeah? Yeah, so... Um, the one part of my ego that was flattered to have been, have been offered you know, an honour. Um, but deep down in my heart's core, I thought, this doesn't sit comfortably with me, you know. Given my background, um, given the fact that right then Maggie Thatcher would not be my favourite politician, given the way she had, the way she had reacted through um, the hunger strikes, the way she had treated the miners during the miners' strike, I thought for me to accept an honour from this woman, in, somehow it would be tantamount to me saying, well, I, she's OK by me, I'm on her team, and I wasn't. So I thought, you know what? My ego's in good enough shape, I don't need, I don't need this OBE. So I, I said, I politely declined. Well, I think that's pretty interesting. And uh, not many people would do that. Yeah.